Here's a quick video on Expedition misfires. Um, I actually originally had a misfire on number 8 with the P308 code, P038 code. And now, um, I wasn't able to get the spark plug out, but uh, I'm going to work at it again. I got a little better uh, impact wrench for it. Um, but I did have another misfire when I was trying it again, because uh, I needed it for something. But um, anyway, I was driving, I got the misfire, I have a reader, so I just read the code, and surprisingly enough, I thought it was going to be number 8 again, but it ended up being, because I just blew it out, I ended up having moisture in it. Um, that I blew out and it was working. And uh, so, I it's been down for a couple weeks. Um, and then, drove it for a little bit, and I had this P303 code, which is the number 3 spark plug, which is third back on the passenger side. So, anyhow, just to show you in comparison, as far as what's a big contributing factor to this, to these uh, misfires, but the spark plug, uh, coilover plug on my right is the number two plug. It didn't have any issues. Uh, doesn't look like there's any moisture in there. The one right next to it is the number three. Obviously, you can see moisture in there. There's a whole bunch of rust um, or oxidation, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know if you can see in there really, but anyway, to me, it doesn't look like there's any type of um, doesn't look like there's any dielectric grease really, uh, which would have helped. But obviously, if there's that much water in there. Um, obviously the spark plug works by finding the least path of resistance and it's supposed to arc between the gap of the spark plug but if you've got water in there along with uh, mineral deposits it's gonna possibly find another path in which case if it does you're gonna it's gonna the spark's gonna be where you don't want it and basically your fuel isn't gonna ignite so um, there better not be fuel in there but anyway I don't know if this is coolant or if this is actually just water um, but this is uh, this is what's causing it. Again, this is the number three. I didn't mark it and marked the other one, but um, I'm gonna clean it up, clean up the spark plug hole, change the spark plug, um, and basically swap these out to see make sure it's still good. Because I've seen people as soon as they have a misfire, they go and replace all the plugs and the coils, and I think that's wrong. I mean, I know they're a problem some part, troublesome part, but. I mean, you're talking about wasting $100 when you might just have spark plugs or, or this kind of situation here. So I don't know if this, uh, if the coils are still good, um, if they make good enough contact. I mean, these these metal coils in here. So, but if it does, it should still be good. So, like I said, I just blew out the one in this eight number eight cylinder. It wasn't this bad, but I mean, it had plenty of moisture in there. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend just blowing out the spark plug or blowing out. The moisture first, you can even pull the spark plugs, and uh, the, the manual says to just regap them. So, if they don't look too bad, they're not too old, um, not too many miles on them, then you might just want to try that. If you have moisture in there causing it, you might want to just try cleaning it out, getting the moisture out, um, and just trying it again. Maybe swap a plug just to make sure you don't have a troublesome plug, uh, see if the fault follows or not. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, that uh, should be should be good. Um, there could be other faults too, but I mean, obviously you don't want to go spending money if you don't have to. No reason to waste money, and you've got parts on the vehicle that are interchangeable. So go that route first. Hope this helps somebody. Bye.